Here's the thing with the disclaimer. I no, here's the thing with the Joe Rogan thing. I think he's like, I think Spotify said to him, listen, man, you can't put out this information because people are gonna sue us once the shit's over. Once that once once it's all proven how you got COVID and how you didn't get COVID and what worked and what didn't work, and all these doctors that were full of it, they're gonna if I, people can just sue. People are gonna sue if they if they if somebody died because they listened to Joe Rogan. They're going to sue Spotify. So Spotify's like, hey, man, Spotify lawyers probably got to them and go, listen, man, you, get, you, you can have these guys on, but you have to say, you have to have a counterpoint on to show that we're just getting all sides, or you have to say uh, that these are not the mainstream opinions. Because people are going to sue. I can't wait to fucking sue Tim Dillon for lying about being a homosexual. <laughs> Um, the podcast has been accused of spreading dangerous misinformation, specifically about two episodes, a little bit about some other ones, but specifically about two, one with uh, Dr. Peter McCullough and one with Dr. Robert Malone. Dr. Peter McCullough is a cardiologist and he is the most published physician in his field in history. Dr. Robert Malone owns nine patents on the creation of mRNA vaccine technology and is at least partially responsible for the creation of the technology that led to mRNA vaccines. Both these people are very highly credentialed, very intelligent, very accomplished people, and they have an opinion that's different from the mainstream narrative. I wanted to hear what their opinion is. I had them on, and because of that, those episodes in particular... Uh, they, those episodes were labeled as being dangerous. They had dangerous misinformation in them. Now, because of this controversy, and I'm sure there's a lot of other things going on behind the scenes with these controversies, but uh, Neil Young has removed his music from the, the platform of Spotify, and uh, Joni Mitchell, and uh, apparently some other people want to as well. Um, I'm very sorry that they feel that way. I, I, I most certainly don't want that. Uh, I'm a Neil Young fan. I've always been a Neil Young fan. I'll tell you a story at the end of this about that. One of the things that Spotify wants to do that I agree with is that at the beginning of these controversial podcasts, like specifically ones about COVID, is to put a disclaimer and say that you should speak with your physician and that these people and the opinions that they express are contrary to the opinions of uh, the consensus of experts, which I think is very important. Sure, have that on there. I'm very happy with that. Um, I am gonna do my best in the future to uh, balance things out. I'm gonna do my best. But my point of doing this is always just to create interesting conversations and ones that I hope people enjoy. So if I pissed you off, I'm sorry. And uh, I left. And I drove home, and as I was driving home, I was singing, Keep on rocking in a free world. That was my last day on the job. I don't even think I collected my last check. Uh, so no, uh, no hard feelings towards Neil Young, and definitely no hard feelings towards Joni Mitchell. 
I love her too. I love her music. Chucky's in Love is a great song. Uh, Anyway, I want to talk about, uh, oh yeah, I was going to talk about, you know, when I didn't have my stuff prepared. Joe Rogan, that fucking moron. Uh, did you see his video? And then he said, he goes, I love that song, Chucky's in Love. Anyway. <laughs> and it was, uh, who, did, who did the song Chucky's in Love? Ricky, uh, I don't know. You guys are really on top of your game. I, I don't know that song off the top of my head. Adam, you know who it is? I'm looking it up right now. Did uh, you guys see Ricky Lee Jones? Yeah, Ricky Lee Jones. Anyway, he thought. Uh, he thought Neil Joni Young. Is it a Neil Young he song? Thought, he thought Joni Mitchell. No, because he was talking about how in his uh, how in his, uh, how in his uh, podcast he doesn't really prepare. Like he did, they just wing it. He's just having a conversation. And wow, he's he's stealing my concept. That's much no. He, and then he's like, he goes, we just like, just sit down, we start talking, we see where it goes. So it's like, and not only in his in his when he caves to Spotify, uh, did he? He didn't even prepare for that. He thought Joni Mitchell uh, did Chucky's in Love, and then they had a they had to put a, a disclaimer in the um, in his video. And he thinks about these these things about how everyone's like, everyone's like. It's just clawing all over each other to get out a tweet about how Neil Young's a piece of shit and Joe Rogan's God. It's it just shows what fucking hacks comics are. And Neil Young is way more talented than Joe Rogan. I've seen Joe Rogan in concert. I've seen Neil Young in concert. No comparison. <laughs> Neil Young's better. Crosby he's and not, still, not as, they were pretty he's good. Popular. He's not as popular now. No, Neil Young solo is better than Neil Young. Neil Young with Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. He was only with them for like two albums. But Neil Young's great. He might be uh, past his prime now, but uh, but he's way more talented than Joe Rogan. I can say that with confidence. And Joe can sue me. He can text me. I know he can knows where to find me. I'm saying with confidence, Neil Young is more talented than Joe Rogan. But watching all these fucking pathetic hacks going like, "Hey, Neil Young," and then, and you know it worked. What Neil Young did worked. Because he got it out there, and then the Spotify lawyers were like, we, "Yeah, we got it. We, it. This is not a good look. All these scientists are against it. We're gonna get sued. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make him fucking uh, put out a video saying, "Hey, man, I'm just. It's like when when uh, John Stewart you go, "Hey, man, I I just do the fake news, but people are so dumb. They're like, no, it's true. If it's on Joe Rogan, I like that podcast. And Tim Dillon's gay, right? Yep, that's what they told you." I think he's gay. Do he's, you, Ray? Yeah, I think he's great. gay. Great. That's a great take. Yeah. So I don't I don't give a fuck about them. Like I don't give a fuck about Tim Dillon and his big fat <laughs> belly and Joe Rogan is like Hey, I hey Chucky's in love. I love Joni Mitchell. Definitely no hard feelings towards Joni Mitchell. I love her too. I love her music. Chucky's in love is a great song. Uh, Chucky's in love. Wow, that's the guy who really walks the walk. He said he didn't do any prep. He couldn't even look to see. If uh, what what's what sing, what songs Joni Mitchell has? That's that's uh, that's on another level of uh, of uh, bad show prep. Yeah, man, he's really struggling. Because if I knew I was, uh, was going to make a speech <laughs> that was going to be seen by millions, I would have had someone check what songs. <laughs> hey, I Neil Young, I love Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> the Hurricane, that was him, right? The Hurricane. 
Yeah. You, you are, are like a hurricane. He said he he said he wrote three songs. Uh Cowgirl in the Sand, uh Like a Hurricane, and uh uh, there's a third song. I, I was, Rockin' in a free world. No, not that song. Three of his classic. Cinnamon Girl? The Sand, Like a Hurricane, and uh, Down by the River, I think. Down by the river. <laughs> he, he said he got a fever. This is how great Neil Young was. Let me know if Joe Rogan could do this. He said he got a fever one weekend, and he, he couldn't do anything because he was just sick with a fever. He said he wrote all three of those songs. Uh, on that weekend, you can you can Google it. Conan O'Brien asked him. He he was on Conan O'Brien, and Conan O'Brien goes, "Did you write it? Is it true? Is that is that story true? You wrote those three songs, three classics. He still will play those three songs when he's in concert. He wrote those like at least in at least in the early seventies, late late sixties, early seventies. Three classics. He still plays in concert. I'm sure because they're fucking great songs." And he wrote it in one weekend. And Neil Young basically confirmed the story. He's like, yeah, I was sick. I, I couldn't, there was nothing else to do. So I just, he goes, and then he was like, one of the songs, one of the songs is real simple. I think he was talking about uh, Down by the River. He goes, it's real simple. I'm like, then write more, Neil. 